Hello, Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to vlog two. <laughs> and like I said, these vlogs are for you and you only. I don't hope any. I mean, if somebody sees it, I'm fine. But either way, either way, you know, this is vlog two. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my computer here set it up so I can remember the questions. So we're here. Okay. So the first question says take a look at your journal from the last two weeks and pick three words that your body or mind felt then verbally discuss or analyze them so i've written my three words down so the first one we're going to talk about is question i was i remember in the last journal i told you how like i was trying to get used to and i was becoming more comfortable asking more questions within the class and so now i'm use i'm gonna analyze this word a little differently from what i had put in my first journal now that i'm comfortable asking questions i tend to be questioning myself on how i can make this move i mean it's not i don't want to make it too different from the original choreography but how i can make it my own really so it's just me questioning myself on how like for instance when we did the down down up pop pop that i love that move so much and i was like okay how can i keep this as the original move but make it to my style because i'm predominantly i'm i'm a, I'm a hip-hop dancer at heart i don't like I'm, jazz has never been my forte but i'm a hip-hop dancer at heart so i'm like okay how can i keep this in the jazz setting but do it to where it feels good to me so I've been questioning myself about that, especially a lot of movements that are uncomfortable, like the Russian sits. And, I mean, not the Russian sit, the roll sit with the Russian. They had the roll regular sit and then the Russian roll sit. So like those and like trying to get my back leg up in leaps and even just jazz walk sometimes because I'm so used to being, it's like, it's, it's the same concept, but differently. It gives a different aura, if you will. So I've been questioning myself on how I can make, not necessarily the moves different, but a little bit more comfortable to my body and my style. And then I want to talk about the word sound. I have been, I feel like, I don't know if it's just a song that you picked for the evaluation, but I have been listening a lot more to the music and the little background sounds like the ad-libs or even just like the um, runs that the artist may be doing in order to hit the moves correctly no let me rephrase that so basically i listen to the music very carefully to see where i would like to put the move i know it's like i'm not i'm you give us a specific place to put it but if i like i say as weird it's weird but it works if i can individualize the dance any way possible i probably will <laughs> that's not good to say but like you know I'm a little spin on or whatever. But either way, like I like to listen. I listen very closely to the music and the sounds that are in the back or the sounds that might be happening or even just like if there's a crescendo within the music where there's a part where it's quiet, like a bridge, and then it gets louder. So I've been listening a lot more lately. And then my last word I'm going to talk about is technique. I have been... I have been analyzing my technique that i have so far and i'm not a bad dancer <laughs> i feel like i'm not a bad dancer let me i just that i have a lot to learn even though i have been dancing for so long if that makes sense it's just that i feel like i can never learn enough technique especially technique that's rooted in ballet technique so that's going to be the first question. And then the second question is, what specific corrections or concepts for improvement have you mentally and or physically retained over the last couple of weeks? Spotting. You got us right. You, you got us right on spotting, sis. I'm going to tell you that right now. I have never been this good at spotting in my 15 years of dancing. Mm -mm. Never have. That little thing that we do. Drink, let's keep doing it. I'm excited. I'm excited for Forte's and I'm excited for second turns due to that spotting and that alone. I am going to remember that for my entire life. It is what it is. That's what I'm going to remember. That and then also using my arms. I know that was in my vlog last Oh, yeah. That was in my journal last time. Oh, no, that was in my vlog. Yeah, it was in my vlog last time. 
and that I love the honestly I really love the evaluation piece <laughs> I like I really really loved it especially because there was a lot of arm movement and I never know what to do with my arms and I'm not going to story to you if I ever have to choreograph a jazz dance I'm probably going to steal some of your moves I'm gonna tell you now plagiarism immediately but I it was easy for me to use my arms because you gave me something to do with them even in like the little in-betweens there wasn't a lot of space for me to just have my arms down so it was I really liked using my arms in that dance and then the last question is when do you think movement becomes dancing I think movement becomes dancing when you're able to focus on a certain emotion or feeling that that dance with including music including the music that it has when that dance and music is played like for instance I know like I'm on a dance team so basically like a lot of times we have to come up with dances quickly and a lot of times I can't sometimes I, well not even a lot of times sometimes I can't even dance it completely because I'm so focused on what comes next I'm so focused on what the step comes next instead of just not protruding I won't say protruding I want to say we're gonna say protruding anyway that's not the word i want to use but it's the good word I'm gonna, it's the word i'm gonna have to use so it's like because i'm so focused on the steps i can't protrude the emotion that this dance truly makes me feel that's it that's how you know that the dance is just movement because you're still focusing on a dance on a movement i'm sorry you're still focusing on the movement you're focusing on the what comes next you're focusing on how sharp to do your arms you're focusing on oh i need to make sure to kick my leg up high that's when it's just moving now when it becomes dance is whenever you're doing the dance and you completely don't even think about anything it takes a lot it takes a lot because you're gonna have to practice because you know practice makes perfect and that's the only way that you can get the movement in your head consecutively to the point where you don't need to think about it but once you've reached that point and you can dance that movement with pure emotion and that alone with no thought just emotion and complete every step correctly or at least to your liking because you know perspective i think that is when movement becomes dance and in the words this is i'm sticking to it over her mom but yeah and that's my vlog number two and i'm a peace out on that bye sarah see you tomorrow